What's up, y'all? It's your boy. Trying out today. I'm gonna be talking about Morgan Wallen, one thing at a time. The first 18 songs of the album. So what I did was I'm making two parts, so you get two album reviews and two album reactions, like to the first 18 songs and a part two to the second 18, because 36 songs. Thought that would be too big of a video to um, drop. That's like two hours almost. But I'm gonna start off with artist performance in the first 18 songs. Artist performance is amazing. I think Morgan's Morgan's sticking to his sound, but he also tried he tried to speed it up on here a lot, and it worked. Like, what song was that? Um, I think "Hope That Actually Ain't That Some." Like he sped it up in the begin beginning of it. And just, bro, he absolutely, he slowed it down in the middle of the song and went back up. Like, he just stayed so consistent throughout these 18 songs in the first half. And I'm just like, bro, how is this already better than a Dangerous album? And we haven't even, like, made it halfway through, bro. Oh, we are halfway through. We haven't even finished a full album. Like, it's so crazy. So the Dangerous album was 30 songs. This one is 36. It's so crazy. He drops such long albums but it's this one has so far been so worth it like i'm so proud of morgan for just his growth content so the content i'm gonna say the content is good i'm not gonna give it great amazing or perfect because it's you know it's a theme in country music i would say of whiskey girls breaking your heart a bar like you know it's kind of like it's not play it's not played out because Morgan is still making really good songs on those topics. And he still sounds so amazing. He switches it up, you know, like he got a song called whiskey best friends on here where he's talking about Jim, um, Jack, like he's naming those, his whiskey friends, you know, like, and he's like, he's doing like man made a bar. He said it took God seven days to make earth. Men needed somebody to hold them, so he made a woman his greatest creation. Then he said, but God didn't make anything for when woman breaks man's heart, so man made a bar. Like, it's stuff like that. If you could keep talking about whiskey if you're going to rap like that. I mean, I said rap like that. Let me stop. Morgan was spitting on here, but he ain't no rapper, but he was spitting on here, bro. Like, even the um, 98, 98 Brave song was so great, bro. He's talking about. If if love was a sport, if love was a team or something, we would be the 98 Braves because they were just like they all they did was win, I guess, which is I, I that was I didn't know what he was really talking about. But he kind of referenced really good in the song. So I kind of understood. So and something else I wanted to talk about was the um the Keith Whitley song. That song was amazing. Like I got to check out Keith Whitley just because of that, bro. Like it was so so fire and also the theme it's another theme a content on here of him talking to god bro him talking about the bible like bro like on in the bible feature and hardy he's talking about if um like they made a lot of refer a lot of references they said if being a redneck a redneck was in the bible i would go straight to heaven but i don't know because i'm you know we flawed humans you know so that so content gets good just because I know I talked a lot about content, but like it's still, you know, a played out theme production. I'm going to get the production. The production was good. I feel like, yeah, I'm going to get production good, too, because Morgan outshines his production every time on us on the first 18 songs. He outshined the production every time with his voice like the um, the production was good. But like Morgan, he made this. Like, he made this. The production didn't make this. Like, it was still good, but I feel like, I feel, I do feel like the mixing and stuff was really good for Morgan on here. Like, he did a really good job. Like, man, they did a really good job mixing this and stuff. And, um, you know, Morgan doesn't write a lot of his music, but, like, going into that, like, the production, it was so good. And, wait, I said more. Yo, I just totally had a brain fart. I was thinking about um also content. I was thinking about content again. 
like Morgan doesn't write a lot of his music, but it's okay because he makes it sound good. So he he gets a pass for that. But like I was I don't know why I brought that up. I was thinking about content, but the production was good on here. We're gonna get into the features, sort of features. So so far the only features we had was Eric Church and Hardy, and I thought both were perfect, perfect for this. So I'm gonna get features perfect so far. Like Morgan and Hardy going bar for bar essentially on that in the Bible was so amazing and so nice to hear. I love Morgan and Harley together. Hardy together. They like they're like the perfect duo. They might be the best duo in country. That's facts, bro. So features are perfect, but it's only one more feature on the album, which is Ernest. So features won't be a big play into this album, but the ones that are on here is perfect. Eric Church did good. His voice was amazing, bro. Really amazing. So that's features. Next up, we got replay value. <sighs> replay value is perfect, bro. Because I'm going to listen to these first 18 songs while I'm waiting for you guys to get the likes for the um for the part one album reaction so I can get part two. And I'm just going to, like, I, I know I can listen to this front to back. Like, it's been so perfect. Morgan has the hits on here. He has everything. He he did everything he was supposed to do. I'm so like astonished and proud of Morgan for what he's done on this album so far. Like, and I'm so excited to finish it. I feel like he he legit has something. He has something in his hands that that he could take to the top, bro. Like, this album is way better than the Dangerous album already. I know that's that's a bold statement to stay say right now, but. I believe it. I believe it, bro. But it's, man, I think this might age well. I got to listen to some other other country albums, but after I do, man, I don't know, bro. It, it, could this be the best country album ever? I know I said that about the Dangerous album, but I just really just got into country even more, which is, so it's, man, it's crazy. Like what Morgan is doing, like, Dude's taking it to a whole new level on here. The writing on here is immaculate. Perfection. So, man, yeah, man, this is that's my first reaction to the first 18 songs on the album. I can't wait to get part two out. So, the album reaction is going to come out after this, a couple hours after this um, review. And, man, get that 75 likes for um, part two, man. I believe you guys could do it. I know we're going to do it, actually, man. Let me know y'all top three songs for me so far, man. Y'all hit that like and sub button. See y'all next video.